Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Today's video is going to be about this 55 watt Jabo UV sterilizer. And this is the second one that I have on the 300 gallon system. Technically 500 gallons. I keep calling it 300, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing that for the sake of consistency. But uh, anyways, I was taking it apart. It's been off the system for about uh, three months or so. And I've been uh, just putting it to the side because I was moving and building and adding all these tanks and stuff to the fish room. And uh, I just didn't have room for it at the time. So I was gonna put it back on, but I figured, hey, let me go ahead and take it apart and see if it has any of that black stuff on the inside. Uh, like I saw on Instagram, a guy mm -hmm. actually linked me on a video and said that uh, he took his Jabo UV sterilizer apart and he's got black water and all this stuff after he cleaned it. So um, you can see my fingers are already dirty. I literally just took it apart, stuck my hand in there and try not to break the bulb. But uh, yeah, you could feel it on the inside. It feels kind of rough and you can see it's black stuff i don't know what it is um, i'm thinking maybe it's the uv sterilizer bulb breaking down the plastic over time um, that's the only thing that i can think of but these are made from abs and i'm not really sure what the reaction between uv light and abs is but that's the only thing i can think since it is black this is black plastic that's the only conclusion i have now is it bad for your tank well if it's abs then probably not because abs is considered reef safe um so i won't think so but I'm not sure. Now, I do ICP tests every three months. Nothing's come up that's negative. Are they testing for this? Whatever it might be. Probably not. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I'm definitely going to clean it. I'm going to clean it to the point where there is no more dirty water, where it's not going to be tainted or black or anything like that. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and put it back on the system. Now, I'm only doing this so I can run it for another 30 days and then take it off and clean it again to see if maybe it's happening again because this is the first time I've ever cleaned this. So maybe after it running for a year or so, this is just what happens to the plastic. So I'm gonna see if it starts happening again after 30 days. Now I am going to take off the second Jabo uh, UV sterilizer that I have, which is actually underneath one of the tanks over here. It's in the back over here. So I'm gonna pull that one off as well and clean it to see if maybe uh, it's happening to that one. Cause that one's been on there for about eight months. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to put that out there that I can confirm that it is breaking down. I don't know exactly what it is. And I don't know if it's good or bad for your tank. Um, the last UV sterilizer I had that wasn't Jabo was a white one and I never even thought about checking. So I do appreciate you guys bringing this stuff to my attention so I can uh, confirm it for myself and put these videos out there so you guys can be aware of it. And uh, if you have any idea what it might be, maybe you're, you know, a lot smarter than me, which is probably, probably a good chance of that, feel free to uh, put your uh, opinion in the comment section. Let me know what, you might, what it might be, and if you could find any articles or proof or anything from Jabo that you can link in the comment section to help people out, including myself, feel free to do that. Now, yeah, that's about it for the video. Going to get started on some orders, and yeah. So I'll see you guys later with another one. All right, peace. 